And I'm Dylan Austin. Good evening. If you've needed extra help over the past year getting food or other social services, you are among many. Yeah, so many, in fact, that it's forcing one Northeast Missouri social services organization to look at expanding. That's right. WGEM's Frank Healy has been on this story today. He is live in Hannibal tonight with more. Frank. Dylan and McKenzie here at Douglas Community Services. Officials say they gave out 48% more food in 2020 than they did in 2019. But their facilities haven't grown, obviously. One such example is their new cooler they purchased last year, which sits outside rather than inside due to lack of space. But they're looking to change that by looking into expanding. Food tucked into closets and other places. Stacy Nicholas, Chief Development Officer at Douglas Community Services, says storing all this food for their clients in need is a challenge. It's impossible to get pallets through narrow doors and hallways, and while they would like to let their clients come in and pick what they need themselves, they need all the space just to store their donations. But just looking around, you can see we don't have the space to barely operate, you know, three or four people in here, let alone allow clients to push a cart through this space. Stephanie Cooper, CEO at Douglas Community Services, says there are other issues too, like limited office space, limited areas to meet, and more. While we've been very blessed with having this facility, um, it has not been able to grow along with us. And so we started talking about the need for additional space, additional offices, and, um, and we started this project to determine whether or not we could expand this facility. She says they're looking to expand in many ways, like a bigger kitchen to cook the 1,200 meals they give to students in need every day, and several classrooms for new programs like workforce development. Cooper says all that and more is why they approached Marion County Commissioners for support, who approved $10,000 to look into the expansion feasibility study. While it doesn't cover the entire cost, she says it's a good start to hire someone to look into what's possible and how much it would cost. This particular project is going to help us meet all of those, those goals that we've set. Cooper says they've also been approved for several grants, and the feasibility study should take about three to six months to get started. Live in Hannibal, Frank Healy, WGEM News.